TAVR stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. And what it is, is instead of opening your chest or opening an incision on your rib cage, a catheter, a tube, is put in, usually through the leg, to do the same thing as an open heart surgical operation does if you need it that way. So it's transformed the way that we can replace certain valves, namely the aortic valve currently, without open surgery. It was first developed for patients that were not candidates for standard open heart surgery because they were too frail or too old. For instance, our oldest patient we've done here is 96 years old. No one in their right mind would take a 96 year old and put them on a heart lung machine and put them through a major surgery like that. I think this has changed cardiovascular care. We're able to offer something to people previously we weren't able to, to do anything for them. Uh, there's that whole population of people who are not landing back in the hospital every month or two with congestive heart failure. So it gives them a new lease on life, if you say. Uh, these people uh, who had uh, um, certain death in their near future can now look at 10 years down the road, see their grandchildren grow up, attend uh, weddings or um, high school graduation that they would have never seen. From my standpoint, it's one of the greatest advancements that I might see in my whole career. The transcatheter aortic valve replacement, uh, unlike the traditional surgical aortic valve replacement, the new valve is placed inside the existing damaged valve. Most of these are done through the femoral artery uh, and a series of catheters are put up through that artery, just like you do for a regular catheterization. We take some pictures, make some measurements, we dilate the valve with a balloon, it's called a valvuloplasty. And then following that, we put the TAVR system through that valve. The valve is delivered by inflation of a secondary balloon that's inside of the valve itself. That's deflated, it's taken out of the patient, and that's the end of the procedure. The procedure itself uh, takes usually uh, about an hour or so, um, depending on other factors, but in general, it's an hour, and the patients are in the hospital for usually two to three days afterwards and get to go home and resume their normal activities in a very short and quick order. The team is comprised of a cardiothoracic surgeon, uh, interventional cardiologist, uh, anesthesiologist, um, and obviously there is a significant support staff as far as nurses, technologists. From an anesthesia point of view, this simplifies the anesthetic uh, tremendously for the patient. The patients get much less anesthesia. They're under anesthesia care a much less time and there's much less trauma to the body and all the systems of the body. Uh, you know, we don't have to give as many uh, medications that have to wear off. The patients don't have to stay with a breathing tube very long after surgery. Uh, so it makes our job a lot easier to take good care of them and keep them safe. These people are able to get up and walk the next day as opposed to about um, a four week convalescence period for an open surgical valve procedure. So you go from a four week recovery to a one day recovery, which is um, quite a uh, miracle from a medical standpoint. Outcomes have been great. Our, our center here, I think is the only center in the Southeast US that has 100% procedural success rate. That means we do the procedure on the patient and the, the valve is delivered. Patient does well after the procedure. Uh, the long-term outcomes have been excellent as well. The right now is a really a very exciting times in cardiovascular care because of all the new emerging technologies, uh, one of which is TAVR procedure and uh, other techniques that are really um, kind of breaking down boundaries and allowing us to provide uh, new treatment for many patients that didn't have any other options before. And I suspect that, that five, 10 years from now, this will be the standard that everyone who needs valve replacement will have it done through one of these minimally invasive approaches and that standard opening your chest heart surgery for valve replacement will go away for the aortic valve. For more information about TAVR, call 813-55-HEART or send us an email at fhpepinheart at ahss.org.